Brings us to 7.51. It is time for News Extra, brought to you by Garing Civic Center. And it's Travel and Tourism Week. We're going to talk travel and tourism this morning with two ladies who know a little something about that. Brenda Lice, uh, Brenda Licey is here, and uh, Carla Needen Streaks is also here. And good morning to both of you ladies. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to the program. Welcome to Tourism Week. What's going on? I'll start with Brenda. Well, this morning, actually, um, we have our proclamation ceremony, and that's how we kick everything off. Of course, our dignitaries are invited to read the proclamation, and um, we also have a big surprise, but we can't tell you yet. We have to wait at least another hour, unless you have a $100 bill in your pocket, (laughs) and then we'll talk about it. But Uh, we do have a big big surprise um, planned for 9 o'clock this morning. Okay, so big unveil this morning. That's at the Civic Center. Nine o'clock. It this is morning, yes. Right? Okay. All right, Carla. It's just a great um, kickoff for our entire week of activities that are planned. Um, National Tourism Week actually started in 1994, and it was an opportunity for CVBs and and chambers and people across the country to just recognize the value of tourism. So we've worked real hard to plan a great week of fun activities. Um, as we said you know, on the other program this morning, we're going to eat a lot, we're going to have a lot of fun, and we're going <laughs> to recognize all of those tourism partners and stakeholders in our community. Um, and the importance of travel and tourism in our area. Yeah, I was going to say, our communities have hitched our wagons, and pun intended, yes. uh, to travel and tourism. <laughs> That's exactly right. Well, what else is going on this week? Well, on Tuesday, um, um, we're going to be out at the airport. Um, uh, certainly, an airport plays a key important role in, in our travel and tourism industry, and we're going to be unveiling, again, something new that we can't tell you out at the airport, so we invite so what, everybody. What did we have you guys in here for? <laughs> <laughs> All will be revealed. Okay, um, right. We like surprises. So we'll be out there at 10 a.m. And then um, later that day, our friends at the Monument Inn and Suites are going to have the first of a barbecue for the week. That will be from 4 to 6 p.m. Um, and all the friends and partners are invited to uh, see the new gazebo at that facility. And we'll have an outdoor barbecue and some music and a lot of fun on Tuesday evening. All right. Very good. We'll uh, talk more about the week right after this. With our 21 years of meeting success, wireless internet access for 750 computers, the Polycom video system, no service fees, and the meat shop cooking incredible food for you, you need to call the Gearing Civic Center for your next meeting or convention. Call 436-6888, visit GearingCivicCenter.com, and like us on Facebook. Experts providing exceptional experiences and excellent food. You will look good. 753 News Extra continues. Um, talking Tourism Week, uh, Brenda Wednesday. Folks might think it's a Husker Day. I mean, we're going to be decked out in red, right? We are. You know what? Um, on Wednesday, it's one of our favorite days just because everyone can participate. Everyone in the communities can participate just by getting out your red. And um, we wear red for tourism that day. Okay. That takes us to Thursday. On Thursday, um, we're going to kick off the 2015 Passport Program, and we have four local attractions that were named on this year's program, so we encourage everybody to get out to the four passport stops, which will be the Gearing Bakery, Scotts Bluff National Monument, Agate Fossil Beds, and the Union Bar. And for the first few people that go to each of those stops and have their passports stamped, we're providing a little gift for those people. Later that day, we're going to have a picnic lunch out at Scotts Bluff National Monument, and they're going to talk about what's going to happen there this summer and then throughout that afternoon all the attractions are going to have some special deals so it's a good time for all of our residents to get out and see what's in their own backyard and and go to wildcat hills and the monument and legacy of the plains and all the other attractions and have a visit on thursday afternoon sometimes it's kind of like the high school reunion everybody comes from out of town but the locals don't go and sometimes we just forget what we've got in our own backyard. You know, we do. And that's one of the great things about Tourism Week. It, it puts the focus on tourism, but it reminds us to all cherish those great things that we have. Uh, certainly our visitors love them. But get out and hike up the monument or go to Legacy. It's a great opportunity this week to showcase what we have to offer. And as residents, like you say, not take for granted what yeah. we have in our own backyard. Absolutely. So that takes us through Thursday. Now what's up on Friday, Brenda? Well, Friday is actually Carlet. Carla and I's favorite day Um, that is the tourism tour kit tour and this gives everyone in the community who is a frontline employee an opportunity to get on a bus with us and we're going to take them on the tour of everything that's important for them to see so that they are better prepared to help 
the tourists when they get here this summer. Actually, I should have said visitors. When our visitors get here, then they will be ready to help them. They'll know a little bit about all of the important attractions, how to give directions on where things are at. And so it's very, very important. And there is still time to sign up for that tour if you are interested, if you work in a hotel or, you know, a quick stop um, a restaurant, any of those people are the people that we're looking for to take that tour. Because when uh, folks come, th- come through, they'll make a stop and they'll ask that clerk, hey, what's going on or how do I get to Chimney Rock or wherever, right? Yes, and so we want that person to be better prepared so that they can help the customer. And first impressions are important. They are very important, yeah. especially in this line of work. People yep. don't have much time, so they just really want to get out and start doing things so the best we can do to help them and get them on their way to the attraction the better off we are how do we register for that if we haven't just need to call um either brenda or myself um call the gearing cvb at 436-6886 or brenda's number 633-1808 um we do have some seats available we'll leave the civic center at nine we'll be back at noon it's important to note the tour is free again we'll have some great munchies and a really a lot of fun on the tour but again we're going to give all those frontline employees those tools they need to answer that all important question when a visitor asks what's there to see and do okay great now back to you with more of that uh, friday activity well um friday afternoon we will be at the hampton inn and suites and of course i know kneb will be there as well doing some live remotes but this is where our hometown cowboy dean gorsuch will um do his famous barbecue he always cooks up some great hot dogs and they have great food, and then, of course, there's they'll also going to have a bouncy house this time and just really fun activities for the whole family, and they really do it right and celebrate Tourism Week. Great. So uh, where can we go? Is there a one-stop uh, digital stop for information about Tourism Week or just tourism in general for us? Well, we've put out a lot of press releases, so um, the best way, if anybody has any questions, either call Brenda or myself at the Gearing CVB or Scotts Bluff Area CVB. We'll continue to uh, use our partners in the media this sure. week to tell what's going on. Um, but we really encourage everybody just to really have fun this week and enjoy travel and tourism. That's what it's all about. Yeah, put out the welcome wagon. You bet, you bet. Yeah. And it is so important to uh, meet and greet folks as they come through. And uh, are there any big um, conventions? Or, I mean, uh, that's a big part of it, too. It is. That are um, highlighting this, this um, summer? Um, really, we've got a great summer of conventions. Um, in a in a couple of weeks, um, um, we'll be starting um, a busy convention season where we're going to be welcoming back some big groups this year. Uh, Nebraska Economic Developers Association will be back uh, this year. It's a great opportunity for us in mid-June to showcase for all those economic development people. And we continue all through May and June and July having um, a pretty aggressive conference season as well. So that visitor is equally important. So yeah, I kind of put you on the spot with that question, but mm-hmm. it is a really big deal for, it is for it is it's yeah. an opportunity to welcome delegates that stay two to three days um, they really spread their revenue throughout the entire community they certainly go to a conference and meeting facility but they dine and they shop and they do attractions and they golf and they f- fill their cars with gas it's an opportunity for our community to see all of tourism all right very good we will let you get on your way thank you thank you very thank much you. Brenda and carla coming by this morning